Hi there, Joker here from A Pocket Full of Happiness. And in this video, I'm going to show you two projects with two new die sets. One is called Mushrooms and uh, the other one is My Sweet Forest. This is the Mushrooms uh, set and this one here is the My Sweet Forest. And I'm going to show you how I put each, um, each of these dies or die cuts together. There are, actually there are several uh, possibilities to put these together which you will see on this card because I'm going to use the same uh, stock with different caps and vice versa. Um, really you, you pair them however uh, you want. There are some that are taller, some that are really like tiny and fat. Just again to to be able to create a variety of um, mushrooms and I you know um, I like to make sure that you can create colorful projects or if you don't uh, if you prefer not to that's also fine then you can just use one color but um, if you want to use multiple colors like me I like to um, create what, what I'm doing right now uh, the design is just um, basically it's cut into multiple pieces and then you can add different colors to each of those or if you want to see a really truly gorgeous um, limited color scheme project then you go to my shop and you check this product because my friend Martina made a craft and white combo that is <laughs> honestly it's so perfect I love it. So if you want to see two totally different styles, then check that out. So um, since my little um, mushrooms did not cover the whole background, by the way, the card is five, and a half, uh, five by seven inches um, in size, I die cut some of the mushrooms twice because I wanted to have more there. And um, I think there's three different skirts um, and more um, stalks, but you will uh, see them. And I think it would also be cool if you had a white cap on this uh, particular mushroom and then with rainbow dots, I imagine that. <laughs> um, yeah, it's very simple all of these. So uh, that's about what I wanted to do here. And then um, I was wondering what color uh, background I should choose. Normally I would go with craft, but then I had craft for the stock. So I just chose the, this kind of blue or pool color is still kind of neutral for me. Um, and then for my sentiment, I'm going to go with something super cheesy, but I thought it fits the style. And I will use the um, recently restocked mini alpha for this. Um, and for um, gluing down my mushrooms, I'm using um, liquid glue for the ones in the background. And then some of them I'm going to add foam tape to to you know just to create a bit of a variation there so super simple card but i don't know i just find find this so sweet then um oh yeah i you can see that i also have some highlights that you can add um there's different ones in size so you have one that is that fits all the sizes, I guess. And I'm using gold color cardstock for my sentiment. That is so much love for you. And honestly, that would have been you probably, but I didn't have time. But again, I think it fits that cheesiness. <laughs> but then again, I'm not, not uh, a native English speaker. So, you know, what is um, what seems to be good for me, it, it might not be good for a, a native speaker. Um, anyway, moving on to the next card, 
I wanted to create a colorful forest here. Um, sure, I could have gone with um, full colors, but I don't know. That's kind of boring. And so I, <laughs> well, it's not quite a rainbow color scheme, but um, still it's a few different colors. And I wanted to, to show you two ways uh, with this particular dye. Um, you can see the pink one is uh, arranged differently from the um, pool color one. And then I'm bringing in some more car uh, craft cardstock and I will add the gold sentiment on top of this one. And I want to cover the bottom of my forest with this, basically, because you will see that um, I wanted to put my trees at a different height, but the trunks are actually um, the same height you know so that I felt like that would look a little bit odd maybe um, so my solution was basically to hide the bottom of the of the trunks I don't know <laughs> if I make sense or you know it's just my thought process so um, I, I, I'm gonna add some foam tape to uh, this stripe and actually you can see that I also added um, a heavyweight white cardstock layer to that because I wanted it to be sturdy since I'm going to use uh, foam tape behind it and then uh, first I'm starting with my uh, trees that are in the background and I'm using um, liquid glue on these and just uh, foam tape on two of the uh, trees in the background, uh, foreground, sorry. So uh, I'm putting the foam tapes in between the uh, tree trunks. Maybe you don't need to do this. I don't actually remember why I decided to do this. And then I, have, I wanted to add some um, enamel dots, but in the end, I decided not to so it's a super simple card and by the way that paper in the background is already embossed uh, it's from basil but you can use an embossing folder to create that effect as well thank you very much for watching I hope you like this project and I hope to see you next time bye bye